It's one of those herbal supplements that's reached a kind of rock star status. Uh, I imagine every celebrity in uh, in California uses it and tells their friends to use it. Um, I don't know why uh, it's reached that sort of elevated level of, of stardom, but one thing's for sure, it's not as useful as people say it is for cognitive function improvements. In fact, when you look at something, when you look at supplements like this, sometimes you have to realize that if you've got a normal functioning body with uh, that's that's fairly healthy, often they're not required. Um, some some of these supplements are really useful for for people who are suffering from something. And ginkgo biloba is one of those one of those products or one of those supplements in that uh, it had a very big study done on it with people with. Alzheimer's, suffering from Alzheimer's, um, and so it's found that people with Alzheimer's, dementia, cognitive decline, in some way, maybe age-related cognitive decline, ginkgo biloba is uh, quite potent in helping all aspects of cognitive function for those people. But for anyone who has a kind of healthy mind and and doesn't seem to you know doesn't have uh, any reason to think they're in cognitive decline, it doesn't. It's not as str- strong or as potent as other nootropic uh, cognitive enhancers that are out there. So if you're really interested in that kind of thing and you don't, you know, you don't think you've got any problems, then you might want to look more at the uh, cholinergic um, supplements like alpha GPC, bacopa monieri, and that kind of thing. Maybe the adaptogens like ashwagandha and rhodiola rosea, which uh, I've actually linked out to in, in this article. So go ahead and read the Ginkgo article there. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, one of the interesting things that came out of my research was that it uh, seems to be very good at alleviating mountain sickness, acute mountain sickness. So if you're going up a high mountain for the first time, then neck some ginkgo biloba and you, you might get away with without feeling any mountain sickness. But anyway, there's dosage in there. There's how to use it. Any side effects that are possible. There's one slight... Uh, sort of anomaly from the research not anomaly maybe but uh, it's kind of a a fact that sticks out to a lot of people because one of the research uh, one of the researchers discovered that if uh, if ginkgo is used for six years or longer by elderly women um, it can increase the risk of breast cancer, or that was a risk that they decided was possible. So uh, maybe maybe avoid super long term use of ginkgo for uh, in long stretches of, of time if you're an old woman. <laughs>